Hello everyone and welcome back to the Values Coloring. So what I have for you guys today is an unboxing of a diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. This one is one of the Halloween diamond paintings that I just had to get. I saw the painting and it was just so cute. I was actually debating between two but I just wanted to get one and I don't even know if I will be able to finish it by Halloween but this is the one that I got as you can see it is a square diamond uh, art kit and the one I got is the Scaredy Cats by Jeff Haney you can see here's that, what the picture looks like so it is a 28 inch by 22 inches so that's 71 centimeters by 56 centimeters and it does come with a B. So let me go ahead and open it. I took out the plastic wrapping already. So let me see if I can get this open. Oops, so here is the toolkit. Here is the thing. Let me get. Oh, nice. Okay. So that's everything out of the box. So what we have here is, oh, so you can, it's a sticker that you can put in your logbook, which is so, so cool. I like this one. Very nice. And then here's another sticker that you can use to put in your, you can cut these up and put it on your containers. They're so nice and big and clear. You have the DMC code over here. And I believe this one, this painting came with Glow in the Dark. I'm not sure. I might be this one, E742. So it might be a yellow one. And there's also this one, number 132, which is an AB. So we'll look for those. So there are 46 colors in this kit picture again so so cute so you will also see the diamond painting toolkit for the squares just really quickly take this out oh so you get a little pen and it comes with a I'm thinking that's a four placer there we have two heart waxes, the squishy for the pen, a clear boat, and really heavy duty um, tweezer with a sharp tip. So you want to make sure you always replace it. And then many, many baggies, which is nice. I'm not going to count it. I'm thinking they might have um, supplied you with enough to just get started, which is great because I don't remember if their their earlier kits came with this many bags. So it's really awesome that they provide this. So let me go ahead and put this aside. Really like that it comes with everything that you need to get started you don't have to worry about containers so here is the canvas let me go ahead and open oh. Oh, i really love how soft <laughs> the canvas is like velvety okay oh wow So it comes with step-by-step -step instructions, which you can also find on the box. It also has a 10% coupon code for your next purchase. Lots of drills. So let me go ahead and see if I can straighten this one out a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so you can already see on one side you have the list of all the codes and or the symbols and the DMC codes in the bottom left hand over here you have a little picture of the painting the name of the painting the size and by Jeff Haney from Diamond Art Club and then also another on the right hand side here and just so you know I don't know if you've noticed that in the bottom they also give you a little discount here that you can use on your next purchase but oh my goodness look how big this painting is <laughs> sorry it's like glary but it's a little kitty on that side and on the other side Very nice. I'm thinking this one, number 46, is this is the glow in the dark part. The eyes, nose, and the mouth. And is it anywhere else? No, that's pretty much it. So the glow in the dark is on the pumpkin. And then the ABs, you have it on the leaves. And is there any on the eyes? Nope, nope. Just the leaves and then some also in the eyes here, in the pumpkin. So yeah, sorry it's glary and can't get it all in there, but very wonderful and beautiful painting. I hope I can get it done by, <laughs> um, by Halloween, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get my kids to help me. But you can't go wrong with Diamond Art Club. I really love their products. I love that they work with the artists and very beautiful. So I'm gonna flip this over and we'll go ahead and look at the diamonds. So you can see here, on the package, it has the name of the painting plus the the number, the item number for the painting. So let me go ahead and take it out of the package. There we go, that's a lot. All those fall colors. Let me go ahead and zoom you in so I can share with you how the colors look like for this painting. Okay, so with the Diamond Art Club, we have the name in the back where it has a strip with their name, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. And then the other side, you have the DMC code. So, and you see how sparkly this is. Purple. Lavender. Heavy. <laughs> like a dark red color. Brown, ochre color. Brown. This one is yeah, lots of brown. And then this one. Then blacks and a lavender color. It looks like a fly that got caught there. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So the next one. There's more three three three. Violet. Gray lavender kind of color. More ochre colors, or purple. Love how shiny. Look at this one. Oh, bright orange. Red, hot red, browns. 
I think this is the glow in the dark one, E742. And here is the AB132. You can see AB means um, that the diamond has an iridescent coating that reflects colors of the northern lights. So you can see it's very shimmery. And it makes the diamonds around it also mm, shiny or shinier. the packets let me go ahead and zoom you back up here is a quick look at the drill field it is a DAC diamond art club canvas so I haven't really had that much problems with their symbols or the clarity so we'll see as I work on it so I just barely got the diamonds back in here I will be kidding it up and hopefully we'll see if I get it done by Halloween <laughs> so yeah Welcome back everyone to the post review of Jeff Haney's Scaredy Cats. This is a Diamond Art Club painting and yeah, I really love how it looks like. It's going to be great to put up next year for Halloween. I did plan to finish this by Halloween but I was just so into my coloring at the time so um, and plus this diamond painting is huge. This is a 28 inch by 22 inch diamond painting. You can see how shiny it is and glittery. Very nice. Love it. So for this painting there are glow-in-the-dark diamonds which is in the eyes, the nose, and in the mouth. And all around the glow-in-the-dark diamonds you'll find the AB diamonds. You can see that. And there's a few AB diamonds in the leaves. So let me see if I can show you from the top right there to the bottom. Very beautiful painting. I'll also um, put up on the screen a picture of how it looks like in a dark room. Uh, there's a little bit of light in the background, but um, you can still see like the cat and the pumpkin. You can see the whole diamond painting, but it's just in a darker setting. And then I'll also show you how it looks like um, 
in a video. So it's even darker and you can see the eyes, the nose and the mouth popping out. So the glow in the dark, diamonds, and I haven't seen it in a really dark room. So I'm hoping, you know, it does brighten up in a really dark room. And yes, yeah, so this is a fun painting to put up for Halloween next year. So it's going to be ready. And yeah, um, didn't really have any problems with the symbols. Um, I had no issues. I had this diamond painting sideways, upside down, and the other side. <laughs> so um, I had no problems differentiating any of them. Let me go ahead and show you the diamonds that I have left. There are plenty of diamonds left. Sorry for the glare. And yeah, there's only a couple colors where I was kind of worried, like number seven right over here. Let me show you. There's like just a few whites. And then number 40, which is seven, three, seven, three, three. Just a few of that pink color, but there was enough colors to finish this diamond painting. I did have plenty of trash, <laughs> but this isn't all of it. Some of it fell out um, accidentally when I didn't have this closed all the way. And so there are some that are concave, some that have like little extra bits on the, on the sides because there are square diamond um, drills. I wanted to make sure they're perfect squares. I didn't want them accidentally popping out or anything like that because of those extra bits. And some are still attached to another diamond. There's some odd shapes. But again, they provided enough diamonds for us to finish this diamond painting. So the extra sticker that they gave to add to your log book, I did use it um, to put on this case. This is a craft mates case. So yeah, I just cut it. I didn't um, stick it on there or anything like that because I'm going to take it out and put it in my log book. So yes, so that I think is it. I actually finished this a couple days ago. I wanted it out um, before the start of the winter season. But since today is the beginning of the winter, I'll just go ahead and push it out as soon as I can. Um, again, no problems with the diamonds popping out. I did make sure to put like the perfectly square ones <laughs> to ensure that I won't have to worry about any diamonds. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That is my post review for this. If you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my unboxing, these slideshow and this post review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please take care, keep safe, and happy diamond painting. Bye-bye.